Hello, I'm Caroline Young, content editor at ESPC, and I'm with Maria Bosa Lopez, who's the business analyst, and we're discussing the October house price report, which covers the period from August to October. So what, what's it telling us about the current market? Well, we're still firmly entrenched in a seller's market. Average selling prices across East Central Scotland have continued to increase in the past three months by 5%. 66.7% of selling prices have met or exceeded home report values, and half of the properties sold went under offer within 25 days or less. But the shortage of new listings is also having an impact on sellers because well, for at least those looking to buy existing properties themselves, many are not finding suitable properties to move to. And so they're putting off um, putting their own property on the market mm -hmm. and that in turn fuels the, sh the shortage. So what seems to be causing the shortage? Well, on the one hand, a shortage of properties is a normal sign of a seller's market. But on the other, this seems to be more acute. And many are pointing to the 3% LBTT additional dwelling supplement and also those higher tax rates for properties over 325,000. So these are hurdles that those looking to move, they now face and perhaps are deciding to stay put rather than list their property for sale. But those in a position to sell will likely sell quickly and for a good price because the demand is still there. So um, average selling prices for two bedroom flats, for example, in, in Morningside and Merkiston are up by almost 19%. And for three bedroom houses in Curry and Belerno, average selling prices are up by 18.6% year on year. Yes, and after the holidays, there is that traditional seasonal upturn in properties coming to market. So hopefully that will help stimulate activity. Mm. And for the full report, you can visit ESPC.com.